Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. Welcome to this new video where I will show you how to fly the quick tutorial that you find in the user manual on FSI Panel 2020. As you can see, I have started FSI Panel 2020 and you can see that no aircraft has been detected so far, not applicable, but my P3D has been detected as on the bottom left of the screen we see connected. So let's go to P3D and select our aircraft so as per the tutorials, we had a PMDG 737, so I will select a PMDG 737. Here you can select any aircraft you want, so I will just take a 800. And any airport, so I will just keep the default airport. Now we'll start our uh, P3D and we will see that detected compatible aircraft should automatically change to Boeing 737 PMDG. So here we have seen it, it's all good. Let me bring the simulator into view. Here we are. So as always here you have the timer on the top left where PMDG is initializing all the system. So don't touch anything. And another thing with the uh, PMDG fleet, normally you get the aircraft with full tank and zero fuel weight can be quite high. So there is a lot of chance that you're above your max landing weight for your training. So either you can change now the weight here by going into the menu of your FMC and going to FS actions and change the payload and the fuel or FSI panel can do it as well for you. So let's see with the second option now or FSI panel will do it for us. So let's go to FSI panel and do that scenario. So what we are doing here is we select as per the tutorial, Los Angeles, uh, sorry, GFK. And we have Kennedy International Airport in New York. I will select that airport. Now we need to select the runway. So we'll select runway 04 left, which has an ILS approach. And now we just have to select long final. And this is what we have in the tutorial. So now if I click move aircraft, I will be able to fly a quick eight miles final ILS approach in New York Kennedy. Let's see if that works. If I click move aircraft, now I get a warning. My aircraft is overweight because I have 20 tons of fuel, which is around 45,000 pounds. So it's overweight. I can accept this overweight condition, which is not recommended, or I can set automatically max landing weight, or I can set the new load. So in that case, I will select new load to show you the feature. And you see that you have now a fuel settings as well as a fuel setting panel. So here we can change the fuel that we want on board. By default, the FSI panel will give you seven tons, which is more than enough to do all your star arrival, any training you want. So here you could, for example, select six tons and modify as well your zero fuel weight. So in that case, my aircraft will be 64 tons. I click update load. And now we will be automatically sent to FSI, sorry, to P3D. And let's see what's happening. So you see the flaps now moving to 30. So here, don't touch anything. On top, it says my control setting your flaps for the approach. Now FSI panel is putting your aircraft in New York. So again, do not touch anything. Just watch, monitor, and be ready to take over control. Now you can see that your uh, FMC has been set. We have the runway in front of us. We have the VRF speed set. And as always, we will just wait until we have the message on top that you can take over the control. So just wait for now. FSI panel is still working, as you can see on your FMC. Now we should be ready any second. And that's it. So you can see on top aircraft ready for your training. Hold your brake for two seconds to take control. So if we look now at the situation, I have my runway in front of me. Everything has been set up, auto brake. All the lights have been set as per the actual conditions. So we are basically ready to fly. At this stage, you can still program your FMC as you like. Now FSI panel has set the runway and the missed approach. It has set as well the speed. So we are ready to fly. So to fly this approach, I hold my brake two seconds and now I can arm approach and we're going to fly this approach. I see you on the ground, guys, to show you the landing report as well as the after landing flow. So let's fly this approach and on purpose, we're going to try 
we're going to make a long landing. So we'll see if that is reported in our landing report. So let's do this approach and we will have a long landing. OK, welcome back. We are at 500 feet. I just disconnected my autopilot and now I will do a common mistake, usually from young pilots on the aircraft. 737 has high approach speed. So now what's happening? We refuse to go on the ground, so we are basically starting to lose our glide slope. So this is what I will do now on purpose to make a long landing. So we'll see our FSI panel reflect that landing on the landing report. So let's start to do a bad landing. I will go. I will aim for the end of the touchdown zone. So now this is where we see that the problem is occurring. Early flare, not retarding the thrust. And now we close the thrust and we're going to have a long hard landing slightly left of center line. All right, very bad. Of course, that will be a go around. If you see that you're floating and you're coming close to the end of uh, the touchdown zone, execute a missed approach, always execute a missed approach. Don't end up in the book. So this is why we train our landings. Here, I just wanted to show you the landing report. So we are expecting something very bad from FSI panel uh, landing reports. Let's see, I will vacate the runway. And the first thing I want to show you is the after landing flow. So to use this feature, make sure that your speed is below 30 knots. So you can see that my ground speed is around 10 knots. I'm vacating the runway. And now you want to taxi your airplane without having to look up or down. So this is why FSI panel has this new feature. So the only thing you have to do is retract your flaps one step. So I'll retract one step of flaps. And you can see on top of the screen, FSI panel after landing procedure in progress. So now my first officer is doing the job for me. I can taxi my plane as per ATC instructions. I don't have to worry about anything. If we have a quick look, we can see the lights have been switched off. The APU is starting. The pro bit are off. We can see as well that the auto brake is off. The flaps are moving up and the transponder should be on altitude reporting off. So basically now you can just taxi your airplane as you like without having to worry about your flow. Now let's have a look at the landing report. So we should have quite a bad report. Let's see that. Yes, as expected. You can see long landing, 1,260 meters. Unsafe landing, I was left of center line. A positive landing. Okay, not bad, but positive. And we can see that the tracking of the localizer was quite good. But what about my glide slope. This is where I lost the glide slope. I stayed high all the way down. I was too high. And then even on short final, I flared too high. So this is what we need to improve. So with these reports, you can check where you need improvement and focus on your landing. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video. And uh, as always, safe landings. See you soon. Any comments, please put it down below and I will reply. Thank you.